Hey guys and welcome back to the AC Milan career mode on the back of a pretty disappointing episode where we only managed to get a draw and a loss. We now have to focus on the Champions League where we play Schalke second in the group. If we can get a result against them we will probably be the group winners which is always good to see. Now before we get into that game uh, I also want to show you that I've sent out my scouts yet again for nine months to, to scout some youth players because uh, I'm always interested to see how these youth players do. Unfortunately none of them have really broken through into the first 11 um, well some of them are getting close to that but they're just not growing enough that's a bit of the, the problem that I have with these youth players but other than that we've got some quality quality players in uh, the youth squad hopefully they will eventually eventually grow and become one of those players that you want to get into your first team now back to the Champions League let's take a quick look at the other groups as well before we get into the game I want to see how the other teams are doing and who we might face in the next round of the Champions League. So of course we are most likely going to go through, I don't see us fucking that up. Bayern are doing extremely well as well, Celtic and Roma battling it out for second. Real Madrid are really close to getting knocked out, that would be a major upset. The Champions League finalists of last year have only got two points from three games, shocking, shocking for Moscow and PSG are about to cause a major upset. Barcelona and Arsenal looking to go through, although Pauk Saloniki are uh, also on six points, very interesting. Manchester City and Atletico Madrid being chased by Borussia Mönchengladbach, not too bad. Spurs and Juventus are uh, joint leaders. Tevez is actually the top scorer in the Champions League so far with four goals. Um, it surprises me that he's still playing for Juve in this career mode. Manchester United and Anderlecht and Zenit and Ajax, that is a sick group, but Manchester United are going to top it in my opinion. Zenit or Ajax will still overtake Anderlecht, I think. Um, don't know why, but I have that feeling Dortmund and Inter are dominating their group. Yeah, that's that's about it for now. Let's get into the game. We've seen how other teams do. It's now to focus on their own team and get the result. Unfortunately, as you can tell by the lineup, um, Roma have really, really damaged us physically. And I don't think I'm going to use this team. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to use this second string team. And hopefully we can get uh, the points because I, this is a risk, but I have to take it. I'm relying on my second team to get the job done at the highest stage possible of European football, the Champions League, where we won the Champions League last year in unbelievable fashion. The best game of career mode that I have ever experienced, and probably you guys as well. If you do remember that, then let me know in the comments down below or leave a like, because uh, just the memories of last year's Champions League final were insane. If you haven't seen that, I urge you to go and watch that because that was sick, but... Can history repeat itself? Can we win it again? That's the question. We have to get the job done with this team against Schalke. I have faith in the young boys. Let's get the result that we need. One minute in, Kevin Prince Boateng is already booked. The former Milan player. Good start. Great start. He definitely does not have hard feelings towards us. Because he seems to always get booked against us. I remember last year as well that he was doing some stupid shit like that. He's going to lose it though to Felipe Coutinho. Tackle from behind from Maximilian Meyer, one of the last players you'd expect that from and it's another yellow, I thought that was going to be a red for a second but they are going in hard, Niang against Prince Boateng takes it round him, Boateng has to be sent off now that has to be a second yellow, no excuses, he is sent off Kevin Prince Boateng gets sent off again, this happened a few seasons ago as well against us for some reason, he's going in for some rash challenges and Boateng is off and there's no discussion about that. That is a second yellow. You can't argue with that. And Felipe Coutinho's got a free kick. Why not bang it in the top corner to make things even worse? No, that's not going to happen, of course. Unless Oduamadi can bang one. Oh, that is a great volley, but it just goes wide. Great start to this game. I'm already loving it. Maximilian Meyer gets blocked. Well done by Ali Bamba. He's going to play through David Jigla on right wing. He's got the legs to get away from them. He has to get away from them. Kola Chinak. A bit too slow. Ball roll inside. David Jigla. Look at that acceleration. Fake shot back. David Jigla. What a goal to open the score and give AC Milan the 1-0 lead here tonight at the San Siro in the Champions League. Fantastic solo run. Fantastic goal by David Jigla. Look at that. Coutinho. Good turn. He has to turn back. He does well. Coutinho is going to absolutely look, make Hoger look like an idiot. He's skipping past everyone. Into him by Yang. First time shot and it's just wide. And that's going to be half time as well. Um, after that goal, the it wasn't that electrifying anymore. I mean, the first 20 minutes of this game were absolutely insane. It died off a little bit. But uh, that chance was pretty decent. We need to look for that second goal. And Bayern Yang looks a little bit tired. 
Don't know if it's worth it to bring him off just yet. No, I'm not going to do that. Well played, Maximilian Meyer with the shot. Good save by Sirigu. First bit of danger from Schalke in this game. Well dealt with by our goalkeeper, but they still have the corner with Galano behind the ball. Draxler is going to come short. He gets it, and that's another corner. Well, that was a waste, wasn't it? Tielemans into Philippe Coutinho. Coutinho can slip through Odoamadi. Great pass, Odoamadi, bang one. That's going to go over the sidelines. That's when you know your shooting is not the best. Odoamadi, I see a man running, and his name is Mbaye Niang, and that is a beautiful ball by Odoamadi. Mbaye Niang smashes one, but it's a good save by, I think that's Fairman in net. Jesus, right, we need to get that second goal because this is not comfortable at all. Let's try to triple tap. I see someone front post. Who is it? It's Fabian Share of all people. Why did he try to head that? I That's not very logical. It's well played. Joel Matip, that's all out attack for you because that is their centre back. Yoshida is going to find the shot and we hang on for dear life right here. How are we struggling as 10 men? Ahman Persson into Mbaye and Niang. Niang can find Odwamadi. Well played. I see Ahman Persson in the box. We're going to go for a triple tap. Oh, I just can't reach. But that is already extra time for us. If we can hold on to this, we should be fine. Going to find Coutinho right here. Coutinho is going to see Yuri Tielemans on the edge of the area. Yuri Tielemans with the finesse. That's not good enough. Oh, Klaas Jan Huntelaar, don't do this to us. Please, Sirigu makes the save. That is necessary. Jigla win that. No, they're still going. Maximilian Meyer into Goretzka. Goretzka, no, don't let them do this to us. Why? 90th minute. Oh, but it's our fault. It's our fault. 10 men Schalke. Bring it back. Fantastic finish by Leon Goretzka. And that is game over for us because we're not going to get the chance. Arman Persson can't make anything of that. And we, we do not win again. This is the third game in a row that we have failed to get the win. Schalke deserved the win, in my opinion. Uh, uh, not a win, they deserved the point because they fought for it. The shots on target were, were equal. They had more possession with 10 men as well. I'm sorry, but that is inexcusably bad from us. Another disappointing result. We're a bit of on a, a, a bad streak right now. Two draws and a loss. It's not the best. We have to do it now in the league against Palermo. But we definitely need the three points here because if we drop points again, Napoli and Inter will run away from us. We cannot allow that to happen. But this time, I will use my strongest side. I will not go for a, a second string team. I'm not taking that risk. El Sharawi, how are you in such bad form? I don't get that. But uh, yeah, we'll have to bring off. Is it worth it to play in Bay? Fuck it. I'll have to take the risk. I, it, it's, it's difficult. It's difficult. Anyways, this is the team I'm going to use. El Sharawi can still play regardless. Against Palermo, let's get the win for the first time in four games. Welcome to the game, Palermo against AC Milan. Normally I'd class this as one of the games where we should have an easy win, um, pick up an easy three points, score a lot of goals, but seeing our current form, I can't see that happening. Palermo are only five points behind us in the league as well. We are five points behind the league leaders, Napoli. I mean, if we drop points now, I really will get worried because this is not good. Well done by Victor Anichebe. Anichebe is going to try and get past the mall, which is a difficult task seeing he only has a limited amount of pace, but Anicha Bay seems to be doing all right so far. Victor Anicha Bay with the shot and just wide. Uh oh, Adam Giursko. Adam Giursko is through on goal. He's going to shoot. Fantastic save by Sirigu. One chance for each team so far. It's, I don't know, I'm worried. I really am. Anicha Bay, well played. De Silio made the overlapping run. He's got the pace to get away from them. He's going to cross it in. I see someone at the back post. It's Lacazette. Lacazette, get there for the rebound. Yes, Alexandre Lacazette capitalizes on a goalkeeper mistake because that was the weakest punch I have ever seen from a goalkeeper. Drops straight to Lacazette. Easy header for the man, and he makes it 1-0. He's only his third goal of the league season. How many games are we? have we played now? Eight? Nine? Three goals. That's it. Wow. Well done by Ricardo Rodriguez. If there's one man that hasn't been affected by the bad form from AC Milan, it is Ricardo Rodriguez. He just set up Lacazette for an easy goal that he missed. That's what I mean. Like the team is struggling. The team is in bad form. Only, I'd say, Sirigu and Ricardo Rodriguez have not been affected by it. But Lacazette, what? how many chances does he need to score? Let's try it again. Alexandre Lacazette, no. That goes for the slide shot. 
Don't let them cross it in. Giorgio is going to find the cross. What a save by Sirigu. Jesus. Again. Like, oh, he's keeping us in the game right now because we can't do anything. El Sharawi, find the pass to Anichebe. That is... Nah, it's just over hit. I can't... I'm playing really bad. I do apologise for that. Right, at half time you can see that we haven't been dominating. It's quite an even game. They had more possession, more shots. We had more shots on target. We got the one in the lead, but I'm going to make two changes because I'm not too happy with some of my key players and their performances. In particular, Paul Pogba and Stefan El Sharawi. Jigla is coming on and Felipe Coutinho as well. Take a touch. Ricardo Rodriguez gets blocked. It's going to drop to Decilio. Decilio back to Ricardo Rodriguez. Take a long shot. Why not? You've done it before. Ricardo Rodriguez! That's just over the bar. Well played. Morganella into Bolzoni. Bolzoni gets denied by Nicolas Ngulu. Fantastic sliding challenge. At least someone is stepping up uh, aside beside uh, Sirigu and Rodriguez. Ngulu is doing his fair bit as well, to be honest. Oh, no, no, no. He's open. He's open. Can't let that happen. Rodriguez win that. Well done. Get rid. We're under heavy pressure from Palermo. Lacazette does well. Come on. Pace it. Leg it. You are gone, Lacazette. No one's going to catch you. No matter what form you're in, you still got pace. Pull it back into Andre. Are you? Oh, no. Griezmann. Oh, my God. How did I miss that? Poor. Very, very poor. And oh, I can't believe that, to be honest. Felipe Coutinho. He's driving forward. He's trying to look for a pass option. No one's given him that option, so he has to take him on himself. He finds Anichebe. Anichebe has got to bang one. Just wide again. Look at Jigla. Look at Jigla. Look at David Jigla. He's stepping up. He's stepping up to the mark. David Jigla. He places that one just wide. Side for the shot. Could have been a little bit better than that, but it, it was a good effort from Jigla. I'm not going to complain. Anichebe into Lacazette, Lacazette could have slipped through Coutinho but he's going to go for it himself, Alexander Lacazette has, oh my god, this is the perfect example of the form I'm in, the team is in, Lacazette is in, we're all in bad form, first of all, don't know why he went for the slide shot and second, don't know why he didn't hit that on target, it's well turned, it's well turned, Silva, Silva's on it, he's going to bang one great block, by Imeric Laporte. We're in the 87th minute. The pressure is on right now. We cannot afford to concede to a 90th minute goal again. Laporte deals with it not well enough and the shot goes off target. Oh God, let's hold on to this, please boys. Lacazette has been taken out from behind. Potential red card, probably not. It's only gonna be a yellow, but we do have a free kick in the 95th minute. If we score this, it's game over. If we don't score, even then, I don't think there's time. There's enough time for them to get back into the game. But you know who I'm going to pick for this one. It has to be Ricardo Rodriguez. Step up to the mark. Show me what you've got. That is what he's... I thought that was in. I genuinely thought that was in. Doesn't matter. We get the win. 1-0. This is what we need. Okay, it wasn't pretty. We weren't good. We missed a lot of chances, but we get the win. This is good for the confidence. Maybe we can build on that in future episodes and try and be a bit more confident on the ball and not fuck up as much as I've, I've done the past few episodes. But uh, we got the win. It's all that matters. We're in second now, five points behind Napoli. So, uh, well, Inter have got a game in hand still. We're still in this. We're still in this. I struggled a bit, I know, but I'm going to improve, hopefully. Um, we had our bad spell of form. Just want to improve. Sampdoria and Sassuolo. Two relatively easy games where I think we can pick up six points if possible. I hope we can do that. I hope you enjoyed. I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you all later.